He often told me to stay at home and take care of the house. But I've heard so much about the man who was preaching at the side of the Jordan that I had to go one more time to hear him for myself. And so, as soon as he left the temple this morning, I went up to the Jordan. And there, I once again saw John the baptizer baptizing, and I listened to the words that he was saying. And today, what would you know? Many people were coming. And John looked up and he saw the teachers of the law and he said to them, you are a of wipers. Who want you to flee from the wrath to come? Bear fruits worthy of repentance. They began to grumble among themselves. But it was as if John knew exactly what they were saying. And he said to them, don't begin to say to yourselves, we have Abraham as our ancestor. For I tell you, God is able to run from these stones to raise up children to Abraham. Even now the axe is lying at the root of the trees. And every tree, therefore, that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. The crowds, they got anxious and they said, what then should we do? said to them, whoever has two coats must share with anyone who has none, and whoever has food must do likewise. Even the tax collectors came to be baptized, and they asked John, teacher, what should we do? He said to them, stop stealing. Collect no more than the amount prescribed for you. And I tell you, even soldiers came. And then to said, and what should we do? He said to them, do not extort money from anyone by threats or false accusations. Be satisfied with your wages. <coughs> there was an expectation in the air. All the people were filled with expectation and all were questioning. They were wondering if John my people the son. John said to them, No, I baptize you with water. But one who is more powerful than I is coming. I am not worthy to untie the form of his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. His winnowing fork is in his hand to clear the stretching floor and to gather the wheat into his granary. But the chaff will be born, burned with unquenchable fire. And so it was with many more exhortations, John proclaimed the good news to all the people of God. The Gospel of Christ. Amen.